How you doing? How you doing? And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Petty, and I appreciate you stopping by today. And uh, we're here to talk about Genshin today, you know, same as usual. And uh, real quick, before we get into the video, I was doing some painting on the barn today, and I'm still just a little extra white, so as I talk with my hands, no, I'm not waving a flashbang around. Um, just, you know, a half ginger daywalker got white on their skin, so we've got a super reflective material now. I apologize for what it does to y'all's eyesight. <laughs> but I wanted to do, I wanted to wait a little while after Zhao had launched, after a lot of the big events that are going on right now had a couple of days to get going and for have for people to have a chance to either hear about stuff from friends or see things online. And uh, a few of you might know where this is going, but uh, oh, we're going back to Graphland, guys. So the long and short of this video is that no new characters and no new content are going to fix this game, okay? That's, that's the long and short of it. If you missed our first video where I want to say it was sometime in like mid-December that we went through and looked at some of this, the, uh, some of this information and trying to extrapolate some, uh, some information from it. But essentially, Genshin Impact is not retaining players. It is losing players and has basically steadily been doing so since about a month or two into the game being out. Now, if you go back and look at our last video, we had pulled up a bunch of data on a bunch of other games so that we could go through their Google Trends as well and we could say, okay, here's what it looks like when a game comes out and has a healthy community. Here's what it looks like when a game comes out and tanks. And then here's what a game looks like when it comes out and then has some issues. <laughs> And though that's specifically for games that are good, that could be absolute 10 out of 10s, but come out with major problems. And you see stuff like this, where I think we did it, yeah, somewhere in this range right here, where we were basically able to look at the numbers and go, okay, Genshin has lost three quarters of its player base, why? And the answer is pretty pretty simple now you can boil it down to a couple of ways but basically it's the resin okay it's the resin system and by proxy how much frustration there is going into trying to be able to build characters because of this resin system so <clears throat> We're going to go over some of the issues that Genshin has and why this system is just killing and driving people away. And then we're going to make some suggestions. And hopefully MihoYo will listen to some of the community on this because this is something people have been on about since day one. Since day one. And them adding 40 resin to the overall cap at the time we said was a nice but small fix to the greater overall issue but since then we've heard literally nothing about any other swings or attempts at fixing this system so we're gonna make a little bit of noise about it because it's a little ridiculous at this point point. and my fear is is that this isn't going to ring true enough to mihoyo until it's far too late and many people have just walked away from the game. It doesn't matter if at one point they come in and fix every single thing that's wrong with the game. If they wait too long to do it, nobody's coming back. It doesn't matter if you do fix this issue eventually, but if it takes you three years to do it, the players you lost in that three years aren't coming back. They're not. Now, new players that play it after that window will have a healthier, longer gaming experience, but you're not getting these people back. There are so many gotchas that have had issues that took them years to fix, and while it's great they fixed them, none of us care because we stopped caring about the game and playing it a year ago. We're, it, it, it's done. It, it does not get a second chance. Most games and most players will only return fleetingly if major changes happen. But even then, it's a very small percentage of the original group that was playing the game that got driven off by those issues. 
So this isn't something that I think MiHoYo can afford to ignore for another four to six months and then, you know, two years down the road have a wonderful game because over the last year they decided to fix it. Uh, but, you know, you don't want to wait three years to have a good game. You're, you're not going to get a lot of that player, ba player base back from that first year. You're just not. <laughs> So what are some of the issues that we're talking about specifically here? Um, one of the things that comes strongest to my mind, because I can only really speak from my direct experiences. I've read a lot of stuff from other people that, you know, reiterate a lot of the same points. But as far as, you know, what I can passionately explain to you, I, I'm going to have to stick with stuff that I know. <laughs> so when it comes to building characters, you are so locked in. Like you basically can only have your core team and that core team will eventually expand into having eight characters that you've put some stuff into. That way you can start pushing an abyss, but there's a lot more than just eight characters in the game and the resource system with resin and the domains makes it so difficult to be able to build and level characters that you cannot really you can't build characters for fun. You can't make decisions for fun. You have to think about your progression in such detail that like, okay, so for the next two days, I can farm this and this with my resin. And then after that, I have to farm this and this. And then three or four days from now, I'll actually be able to have built the character that I wanted to build. I understand you guys needing to add a certain amount of time towards progression you know if, if someone just comes up and no life sit and then has absolutely nothing to do in the week <clears throat> that's the core argument that people have when it comes to complaining about these systems and trying to critique them is that oh well that'll happen and you know then everyone wouldn't have anything to do no and they're not going to have anything to do when they just straight up quit the game too so obviously Tr tailoring it to that is not a good solution <laughs> now as a content creator i would love to be able to build out new characters that we get it is almost impossible for me to build a character for the sole purpose of doing a video on if i build a character it's going to be because they are going to be part of my main team and then i can you know get content from doing a video on them but if I've got, you know, 15, 20 characters, but I can only play eight of them without punishment of death in game, because progression does not go very well, <clears throat> that's, that's a problem. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult to put in the right words to say that if fundamentally I can't touch three quarters of the characters in your game, then it's a bad fucking game. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. If that's how you have to time gate things because you believe that's the only way to keep people interested, obviously that has not been the case. That is not what we've seen happen. So it's probably a good time to change the hat you're wearing because you're now a captain of a different ship. You're not going down the same river you thought you were, buddy. <sighs> Another really, 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 really big thing that I'm seeing from the community is after world level five, it's basically only detrimental to move up in it. The rewards that you get from doing domains and everything at the increased difficulty is inconsequential it, it's basically pointless like you can essentially just stay at world level five and then that's it so your end game's broken too like just broken to the point of it basically doesn't exist so all the people that got there either made a second account or they just meme the fact that their world level just is trash it's really bad really bad for your end game to be in that position so between just working on your characters to be able to get to the end game being a frustrating enough thing that I think that's where a healthy part of the player base was lost at, that once you get to, you know, towards the end of the road, it's just, it's a sucky road. And that's where we're seeing a lot of the rest of the drop off. <laughs> and neither of these things are going to get fixed 
by any new flashy characters, by any new con or like continent, any new map, any new st uh, content and stuff like that. It's not going to fix these core issues that will ultimately drive either the same players or new players away again. It just, those things won't fix it. Those problems are still there at the end of the day. <sighs> People are gonna run around, have a great time with Zhao, and what do a bunch of high level stuff that they can't really get any decent rewards for it's <clears throat> people are having fun <laughs> so it's it, it's hard to understand wh why they're still holding this position and we haven't heard anything else about resin um, <clears throat> but honestly at this point if you want to try and get some players back, if you want to increase the player retention time, if you want to shorten the amount of the amount of frustration they're feeling while leveling up a character, got a pretty simple solution for you. I feel like it's not super game breaking because the, at the end of the day, all it would allow you to do is level up your characters, <clears throat> but make ley lines free. The only thing they cost is the amount of time to do them. Take resin away from being able to farm gold. Take resin away from being able to farm X EXP books. Do it. Do it. <laughs> the amount... It, it just... I don't know. It, it blows my mind. I shouldn't absolutely hate leveling up and working on characters. And the fact that... I have to budget out for days at a time to be able to level a new character that I got if I didn't already have the books for it is insane, is insane. I'm telling you right now, if you make uh, books free to farm and gold free to farm, people will be able to do more with building their characters and they'll be able to build more characters which will lead to them playing more of the game and enjoying more of the game. When people are so locked in from their resources that it's literally strangling them, that's a problem. And I'm not even going to say that making ley lines free is it. it. That's where we should draw the line and now the resin system is fixed. That is what I'm saying you need to do as an absolute bare minimum to fix a large portion of players' frustrations. In terms of making uh, endgame players happy fix the higher world levels like that that one i just don't understand how that even became an issue you you didn't want to give people too many rewards then why keep having them go up world levels what's supposed to be the point of that if there's no real draw and no real reward again if something is more frustrating than it is enjoying you're gonna stop doing it it doesn't matter how much you like the part you do enjoy if there's a lot more frustration you're done. Like, it's... People are gonna stop. <laughs> so... <clears throat> and I'm glad that... We're seeing a little bit of a bump up from Zhao. But... For all of you that might be newer players... Um, or haven't spent a lot of time on, like, you know, Reddit's... And it's time in the community itself. You kind of just play the game. Maybe watch some YouTube stuff on it and then check out... Um, Zhao has been, like, the number one simped for character since, like, closed beta test 2, which was a year and a half ago. Like, people have been waiting for this dude, well, some of them for over a year. Like, he was one of the most anticipated characters in this entire game. Uh, Ayaka is probably going to be second on that list and we're not even going to see her for another couple of months. So, and as like the first, if you took a snapshot of the most like, you know, wanted character in the first six months of Genshin, it's Zhao. It's Zhao. Hands down. Hands down. If you disagree, go check Twitter trends. <laughs> when Ganyu was out because Zhao simps had Zhao trending over Ganyu more than once on Twitter when Ganyu was the character that was actually out and being released. Okay, I just want you guys to understand the history of simpage here. <laughs> and we're not... 
it's not a really drastic increase for the most wanted character in the game i would have expected it to crack above 50 at least at least so the fact that we're not seeing that when Zhao is also coming out with events that are really big in terms of the reward they're giving to players and how much there is to make from the event like it's a very rewarding event um probably one of the more generous ones so far since it's giving you a free 10 pool and then also a whole lot of other stuff uh, we're, we're not seeing enough of a jump to be like oh okay no that was really impactful it it was <laughs> So, <clears throat> I, I don't know. Yeah. Make ley lines free. That's that's all I can tell you, MiHoYo. And I hope to God that you guys are listening to all the suggestions that you've gotten from the community on the resin system and are working on a deep and impactful fix for that. Um, because we've heard literally nothing from you since you just upped the cap by 40 points. Um, I know on this channel before we've suggested things about... Um, tie your uh, resin cap into your world or not world level but your adventure ranks so every five or ten uh, level brackets of that you're getting a little bit more resin so it feels like a system that you're deepening and getting more resources for um, but even then just adding more resources even if they went and doubled the resin right now cool you can go from burning through it in half an hour to burning through it in an hour and then we're same in the exact same spot um, so just adding more resin or making it recharge quickly is not going to fix the issue. Make it so people can level their characters. Make it so people can level characters they have no real interest to play other than they have a few hours this afternoon and they want to try and max out you know, another one of their characters. That's fine. Let them do it. You can still hide the ascension materials needed behind resin stuff. That's cool. But at least give us uh, EXP books for free. For free. But uh, we're going to go ahead and call it there, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Let me actually find the button. There we go. All right. You're going to have to catch your boy on the next one because uh, we're out of here. Deuces.